If you're still using Windows 10, you need to hear this because in just two months, your system is about to lose all security updates. Microsoft is ending official support for Windows 10 in October 2025. That means no more patches, no more security fixes, and your system could be exposed. But don't worry, there are safe and smart ways to keep using Windows without upgrading your whole PC or buying new hardware. I'll walk you through all of it. Quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not promoting or encouraging any illegal activity. Everything shared here is to help users stay informed and secure as Windows 10 reaches end of support. So here are the two best options to keep your PC secure after Windows 10 loses support. First, Windows 10 LTSC. This is basically the same Windows 10 you're already using, but with a much later end of life date. That means you'll keep getting security updates for years beyond the regular version. Then there's Windows 11 LTSC, and this gives you Windows 11, but without the heavy system requirements. In fact, it runs on a lot of the same hardware as Windows 10, so older PCs can handle it just fine. Plus it's cleaner, lighter, and stays supported for a long time too. Both of these will keep your system safe, so it really comes down to whether you want to stick with Windows 10's look and feel, or try Windows 11 with less bloat and better performance. All right, so once you have decided which version you want to go with, the next step is to prepare a bootable USB drive. We're going to use a free tool called Rufus to do that. Now I can post the ISO download links directly here, but they are available in my Discord server, organized so you can find exactly what you need. The invite link is in the description. Now before we begin, make sure that you have a USB stick, which is at least eight gigabytes. Back up any files you have on there, as in the next few steps, that USB will be wiped. Also, make sure to back up your C drive because we will be wiping that drive and installing Windows on that. For this video, I'm going to choose Windows 11 LTSC. Now, follow my steps to download Rufus. First, open your favorite browser and search for Rufus and click on the first link that you see. And scroll down. Here, click on the second link. It should be ending with the letter P. Close any ads you see. Now open that file. Now here, at the top, it should automatically select your USB drive. In this drop-down menu, select this option and click on the select button next to it. Here, just double-click on the ISO file. Now for this option, just open File Manager, right-click on this PC, manage then disk management. Find where it says C, like this, make sure to remember the disk number. In my case, it's disk one. And then go here and right click, properties, then volume. Now go back to Rufus and change it to whatever it was, GPT or MBR. Change the volume name to whatever you want and then click on start. Here, Uncheck everything and click on OK. Click OK here. Now wait until everything is done. Now your USB drive is ready. Shut down your PC and plug the USB into any USB port on your PC. Then turn it back on and start spamming your boot menu key. This could be F12, F9, escape, or delete, depending on your computer. Now, you'll see a screen like this. Move using the arrow keys and just select your USB device by hitting enter. Now, just follow everything that I'm doing right now. Once you get here, find the disk that was the C drive. It was in that disk management window from where we checked MBR or GPT. Now, remember, the next step will erase everything on your C drive. Select that disk, but if that disk number has multiple partitions, delete them. Make sure not to touch any other disk number. Now you will have a thing with the disk number and unallocated space. Select that and continue with the setup.
Now if you don't want to log in into a Microsoft account, just disconnect your Ethernet cable and continue from this point. If you don't mind signing into a Microsoft account, just log in here. If you don't want to, then here click on other sign in options and enter a username for the local account. Enter a password or leave it blank if you don't want one. Once you're done with the setup, and on the Windows desktop, you might notice that the Microsoft Store is missing. Stop! If your PC feels a bit slow when you first load into Windows, don't worry. It's probably just the fact that the video drivers aren't installed. Wait for Windows to install that, and it should fix the problem. Back to where we were, so to install the Microsoft Store, right, click on the Windows, Start button and click on PowerShell with Admin, now paste this command and hit enter. Now wait for a few minutes and the Microsoft Store will be installed. Now go to this website and download this app installer. This is an app required by Windows to install some apps. There is barely any apps in this version of Windows. If you want any apps, let's say the Photos app, you will need to download that from the Microsoft Store. Now, if you're wondering about the Windows 10 LTSC, well, I'm using that right now to edit this video. I have been using this for a year now and never had any issues with it. One last thing before we wrap up. Yes, Windows 10 LTSC will get updates for a while longer, but it's not forever. Even before official support ends, uh, you'll notice some apps and programs will stop working on Windows 10. So if you really miss the look and feel of Windows 10 but want something more future-proof, you could switch to Windows 11 and customize it to look almost identical to Windows 10. That way, you get the best of both worlds, modern support and the classic style you like. And if you'd like me to make a full video showing exactly how to make Windows 11 look and feel just like Windows 10, let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. Then I'll make it happen. Now, something special for the people that watch my videos till the end. Here's a quick way to install a lot of softwares at once so you don't have to install them one by one. And that is through an app called Ninite. Just open your favorite web browser and search for Ninite. Click on the first link. Choose the apps you want. Then click here. It should download a file if you run that file. It will install all the apps you selected at once. If this video helped you in any way, please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.